Actually, I <laughs> listen to the little voice in my head. Today, I am covering two stories. First, Joy Behar is branded a hypocrite after being pictured unmasked inside a NYC restaurant and walking through it without a face covering hours after piously declaring she plans to wear one indoors indefinitely. On Thursday The View co-hosts discussed mask mandates, said that she would remain masked up despite constantly changing guidelines. Personally, I listen to the little voice in my head mm -hmm. that doesn't really follow 100% what they tell me because mm -hmm. they keep changing it. Yep. Right. So, like, very short time ago, they were saying put the N95 masks on and, make, and now they make sure it's up. And now they're saying you don't have to wear them anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, if I go on the subway, mm -hmm. if I go in a bus, if I go into the theater, if I I go into um, where else would I go? A crowded spot. A crowded yeah. place. Oh, wow. I would wear a mask, and I might do that indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I might do that indefinitely mm -hmm. because why do I need a flu or a cold even? Right. That's true. And so I'm listening to myself right now. I sort of, li I mean, I don't think it's 100% safe yet. Just hours later, Behar was caught dining out with her friends without a mask and reportedly left the restaurant without her mask as well. In my opinion, this is another example of lying, hypocrites, Looney Tones telling everyone what they get paid to say and not what they actually do or believe. As I've said before, don't watch this show, it is trash TV. In the next story, transgender UPenn swimmer Leah Thomas dominates 200-yard freestyle at Ivy League Swimming Championships and sets a new tournament record. Thomas set a meet record in the 200-yard freestyle race with 1 minute and 43.12 seconds on Friday night. It's the second Ivy League championship win for Thomas over the course of the week. Thomas swam for the University of Pennsylvania's men's team as recently as 2019 when she began medically transitioning to a woman. USA Swimming Friday updated their rules to say that competitors in women's events must have recorded low levels of testosterone for 36 months. Thomas, 22, began transitioning from male to female in May 2019, and so would appear to have only 32 months. But officials clarified that the rule change would not come into effect until next season. In my opinion, I'm not surprised, are you? This transformer is a man that has started to take drugs to lower his testosterone levels and now identifies as a female. I guess they should start making sports divisions based on testosterone levels. I wonder what sports would look like at that point. I do feel bad for the real women that are against this. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.